Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Rayuel campaign. So in the last episode, we finished up a war with the Jadari, taking enough land to release Sariand as a vassal here. And they have plenty more cores on uh, some more of Jadari's land, and we are going to be feeding them for a while because we are going to be trying to save as much admin points as possible because we are uh, a little bit behind on admin tech. And by a little bit, I mean four. So we do have to kind of chill out on spending the admin points, but we are in another war right now with Bersartans, Zanzap, and the dwarves up here to the north, uh, Hold Drakad. So we are going to annex these two nations here. Uh, we didn't, we were not able to co belligerize Zanzap because they are guaranteed by Katarata. I would rather not fight them. Now, Katarata is at war with Jadari and Brasan, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Jadari is involved in multiple wars. One against each side. They're defending against Katarata and they're attacking to the east. So we'll see if they are able to hold off the Kataradans or if they're going to lose some more land here. Honestly, I'm fine with them losing land. Uh, I'm more confident in the long run taking land off Katarata, even though they have more troops than Jadari do. Their quality is a lot less and we smashed them in battle, if I recall, uh, the last time that we fought them. So we are just going to kind of quickly wrap up this war and I think we're going to be able to get through a couple of missions today as well as long as nothing too crazy happens. Uh, let's get it down to speed 4 while the beginning of the war takes off. We are moving 27,000 troops up to deal with the dwarves and this stack right here will be plenty to deal with anything these uh, nations in the Bulwar proper can do. Alrighty, now we are also annexing our vassal, Ordia. Uh, which will be very nice, because I do want to feed Sariand a lot, and I also made a pretty big mistake, and I gave them this province. I need that province to form Suricus, which is the formable. And I also enforce religion on Sariand, so they're probably going to end up being disloyal. Now, once I finish annexing Ordia, I can get rid of the noble privilege right here, the integration policy, which gives an additional plus 15% liberty desire. Let's see, can I take a... I can't seize land. So if I wanted to seize this, yeah, we may just have to annex them first then because I would rather just uh, keep them semi-loyal. 100% uh, disloyalty is never, ever a good thing to do. Usually not worth it in the long run. An army career. Uh, let's go ahead and get that free army tradition, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go for the army tradition. And the printing press has spawned, which is kind of unfortunate because we just got colonialism. <laughs> like last episode, it just spread to our lands. And speaking of that, I think I have, yeah, the advancement edict on here. So let's go ahead and protect trade. Uh, so that's another institution that we are going to need to grab. Always more things to do. All right, let's actually take out these rebels here for them. Well, not for them, but that way we can occupy the land instead. All right, and we don't actually have any rebels that are rising up. There it is, rebels in Sariand, which we are going to uh, probably let fire unless we can get back there in time. And there's that answer. It does wipe some Jadari troops, hopefully. All right, harpies over Tinohalan. It is a scene from a frightening campfire stories. Harpies descended upon a village in one of our provinces, attacked it, and let loose the, as it were, birds of war upon its innocent inhabitants. This has further worsened their already decreased standing in Rayuel, and now the people of our country are demanding vengeance. But an argument can be made for instead focusing on repairing the affected area or even trying to defuse tensions. Alright, so we can get devastation. We can just pay them. Where is this? Tenno Holland? It is an estate. It's for development. It is not next to a fort, so it will take a while. For this devastation to go down, I don't think it's worth the money. It's more money than this will ever make. Um, I'm going to do this simply because I don't want to spend the mill points. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Dwarven refugees from Spider Wretch. Yes, they can come on in. Really, Spider Wretch is big enough to... Uh, oh, they are. Wow. Spider Wretch is a goblin that starts off in this province, I believe. Usually they get smashed, but it seems they're doing alright this time. We are going to keep our current ruler... We are making 1.6 yearly Republican tradition, which is super nice. I also don't need to be sitting that many troops on a 
level one fort. It's a huge waste. Oh, this is very nice because we have a lot of inflation. So let's go ahead and summon the diet. Now let's see, can we get the... No, so sometimes you get the event to get under 5% inflation and I think that's only if you have over 20. So I'm going to get this time uh, a shipyard because I'm not going to be developing with an admin anytime soon. Let's go ahead and get the yearly inflation reduction. It also brings us up to three stab, which is super, super nice. Now, if we look at our mission tree here, where are you? Is it the training facilities? Yes. So that needs a port level two, a barracks, and a training field. Or is it the manpower that's holding us back? Barracks. Ah, it does. It does need something else from the looks of it. Uh, no, it doesn't need a regimental camp. It just needs 10, uh, 10 military development. We will get there eventually. It would kind of be a waste of points right now. Unless we're about to hit max. But we can actually save up a bit because we do not have the recent institution. Now, I'm looking for... Well, there is that one, but that province is under siege, so I can't do it. There's one where I need to build monasteries right here. But let's go to Banquet's Retreat. Ah, right here. We already have the temple. What else do we need in them? Uh, just development. So what about Elizna? Does that have a temple? It does. Perfect. And let's go ahead and check Eon Caven. You do too? Okay. Well, you know what? I'll just check it after the war. No, I want you to turn around actually and come and take out the dwarves. Even though it's mountains, we should win the fight. RP Minority is expelled. Very nice. Cool. Let's stack wipe those 2k men. Stack wipe them, bring you around, bring you south. Let's get our cannons down here as well. Get that siege done as quickly as possible. And let's grab our galleys. Make it just as fast as possible to uh, get through there. Get that little bit of a sea blockade on it. Let's also make sure that we unsiege these provinces. It is a little annoying that they're down here messing with us, but once we take their hold, they will instantly run out of the war, most likely. And a Harpy Majority is expelled. And that is that siege. So, once the dwarves are pieced out, this war will be uh, over. And that will be that. Merchants worried about a lack of protection. I would rather not tank my economy for the next forever, so let's go ahead and not do that. Now, our truce with Jadari and Brisson is up in 1556. I was hoping that I might be able to jump on Brisson while Jadari won't join, but uh, I'm not truce breaking. That would be a very foolish thing for me to do at the moment. Very foolish thing. Go ahead and send half, oh, never mind. That is going to be the war completed. We go to hold your CAD, give me all of your money. War reps, let's uh, pillage your capital too, why not? Not really worried about AE with people. Nope, don't care about those cores. You won't, okay, that's fine. 230 ducats. You get a little bit more development in Rayuel. That's very nice, since that is a very, very valuable province for us. And we can go ahead and bring all of our troops home, because that is the end of the war. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty easy one right there. We could take this early. We're not going to. That would be a waste of points, in my opinion. And we will full annex both nations. Well, if I'm going to be annexing them anyway, so I'm just going to take money from both. It's 35 ducats. Uh, let's make them give up their cores probably everywhere, because I'm going to be taking all that land anyways. There we go. Perfect. Send demand. Thank you for your provinces. I appreciate it. And, okay, who is calling me into war? Arnanin is calling me into war against some people. Uh, hold that thought. Alright, our adventurers have taken out some bandits. Very nice. And Bersartans is our longtime rival and enemy. As you can see, we hold a lot of their cores. Has finally been defeated. We will no longer have to deal with them in the campaign. Beautiful. Goodbye, good riddance. Alright, oh, and with that, uh, we have kind of secured ourselves a bit. We now only have... What? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six fronts or something like that? 
Uh, better than the eight or so that we had. Let's go ahead and core all that up, and that's hopefully going to be the last land that we have to core for a while, for the most part, except for Brisson. We will need to core that. Now, Arnonen. Here is the problem with Arnonen. They hold Nathalair. And Nathalair is something I need for my mission tree, and I didn't know that. And I should have paid attention to that a lot earlier. So we are going to have to probably fight the Emperor at some point. Uh, the problem is, Istralor, <laughs> our ally, is the Emperor. And they're a Great Conqueror. Well, I mean, I'm glad the Great Conqueror is my ally this time, at least. So we are going to have to uh, find a way to work some magic with that. If I can find a way to get Arnon in to war with them without actually going to war with the Emperor, that would be preferable. Now, have they added that to the Empire? They have. So that's going to be a problem. But I think after we take quantity ideas, we should be able to smash the Empire with pretty much ease. All right. We are uh, waiting to take tech here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm clicking so many buttons, and they're the wrong ones. So Elven Monasteries. We already looked at that. Let's look at Cab Stroaz. Do you have a temple? You do. And last but not least, Tunkalum. Find Tunk. Tunkalum. You also have a temple. So we have everything we need here building wise. They just need to be developed. And we will get to that. Protector of the Bahari. We just need lots of forts. Level 4 forts specifically. And then religious unity, which is just going to take some time. Uh, Arkrad Till is over here. We can actually unpause. Uh, is over here. And. We need Admin Tech 11, I believe it was. Yes, 11 to build that manufacturing for our mission tree. Let's make the merchants go down a bit. And then I think we're going to revoke land because everybody should be up and above. I can use it again in June. That's fine. Hackett Bar, let's go ahead and build the shipyard. Might as well. Thank you. Now we do have lots of money, so we're going to need to invest in something, that's for sure. You are sieging that down. You are going to move up here and help deal with these rebels. And there we go. So we are gonna have some rebels down south. Let's send our troops down south. They are going to drill. Because there is nothing else that I need them for. They will help unseach that. And then we will start to build a fort there. I have a lot of money. I need to spend the money. Now, are there any manufacturers I can build right now? Yes, there are. Beautiful. It says we can convert. It would take a really long time. But we won't do it right now. We'll wait for a good opportunity. We have gained a core province. Okay. Proclamation of Isralor. So the Core Knight League is forming. We will be dragged into this, I think? No, we won't. Well, I don't know. It's confusing because Isralor is the Emperor. So I guess the Regent Court is the one that has to attack it, I suppose. So I think we will be dragged into the war if this pops off, which would be interesting to say the least. I don't know how much I would actually help with that. Is it from Shady People? I would rather take the Prestige. Now we are about to max out on mill points. I could take tech early. I'm not going to. All right, our whole thing is that we need development in a lot of places. And one of those places is here. Oh boy. All right, let's go ahead and encourage development. One. Oh, that hurts. It's so many points. It's so many points. Two, three. And that should get us to complete the mission, right? Or am I missing something else for... Da, 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 da. Where are you? Right here? Yeah. Oh, I need the money. So... Yeah, it, it just needs the money. Regimental camp, barracks, which I'm pretty sure we have both of. Barracks, we do not have a regimental camp. Let's go ahead and delete that. And then we'll build a regimental camp. Oh, and the halflings declare independence. So, the small country has declared independence. This is essentially the Dutch Revolt in the mod. So, yeah, they're not going to do too hot. They're probably going to get a bunch of mercenaries. But Laurent is pretty dang powerful. This game, so I think the halflings are going to be out of luck. Alrighty, 
So we will leave these troops up here to defend against anybody that may want to make their way in. Uh, we are going to focus on our mission tree first. So I'm going to build up... Okay, good riddance. Uh, that regimental camp. We could state things. Um, I don't know. What's Where is Bahar? It's right here. Do I have any cores in the area? I do, so I won't state it. Uh, mm, I will. I will. I know I said I wasn't going to spend the admin, but it's just... It's so nice. It's just so nice. More cloth, more wine. Alright, and now I think we just save up for this mission, whatever it is. Oh, okay. Let's first grab a, another two generals, I suppose? Oh, that was disappointing, to say the least. Another one? Alright, uh, you can go. And then we're going to restrict all non-nobility. Oh, I'm not at peace anymore, so... Wow, okay, Jadari is lost. They have lost hard. They must have totally focused on Katarata and just lost everything over here. That's beautiful. We'd love to see it. We really do. A weak Jadari is good for us. Look at that, 6,000 troops. Okay, 90% uh, nobility loyalty. That's insane. Let's go ahead and revoke some titles. We're only at 38, so I cannot afford to give stuff away yet. Small country is expelling humans. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen them do that. That's that's bold. Considering you are, you know, surrounded by humans. That is a good way to ask to just get absolutely obliterated. Let's bring our, our troops probably over here. This is more likely to have rebels. We are going to keep them. We are getting some really nice Republican tradition coming back. And it helps that our uh, policy here gives us 0.2 per year. Jadari is no longer a valid rival. They haven't lost anything yet. I was hoping to see like all this gone, but we have, we are able to complete a mission. So establish training facilities. With the Asuka taking its first step in the slow process of restoration, we must now put it to use. The Citadel is not only for our defense, but a shining staging ground for any and all military expeditions beyond our borders. We shall establish a strong garrison, several barracks, and a small officer academy. The establishment of the Citadel will also help us with manpower for future projects on the Aska. So we lose 150 ducats, but we get plus 20% uh, defensiveness, and restored ruins is removed from Aska Cell Aska. Now we need to dis to restore the outer walls, which is more manpower development and a higher fort level, which we do not have access to yet. So that mission will have to wait. Just kind of looking around here. This needs a university. We're not there yet. Uh, religious unity. Yeah, a lot of level four forts and a lot of development, which we're getting semi close to. In fact, I think, I think, I think, I think, I might be willing to go for it now. Uh, the merchants are at 53. We're going to wait for the merchants to get back over 60%. That way I get the development reduction. And then we will d uh, end up going and getting rid of... Uh, not getting rid of, sorry. Developing lands around for a little bit cheaper. Our next idea group is going to be quantity ideas. So uh, we won't be able to take it all super early because this is a very important mill tech, but... I really want to get the development cost reduction because that's kind of Syracuse's whole thing, which is the nation we're going to form. So I want to make sure we play into that as well. Uh, I will take the money very clearly. I love money. Ten. Ooh, stability for ten Republican tradition. That's a good. That's a good trade because that means I could re-elect him again. That's just one stability for a re-election. I will take that. Adventures hamper the thieves guild. Beautiful. And we have another possible advisor. Goblin minority dwindles. That's fine. Sounds like a them problem. So, Jadari. They do lose some land. Not as much as you'd think for um, getting absolutely obliterated. I mean, they got 100 percented. Oh, they did have to release Sidian and Mulan, I believe. Let's see here. College. It will be Sidian, Alxess, Surihits, and Mullen. Oh. Hello. Well, unfortunately, we can't actually touch them. 
So let's set that as a uh, vital interest and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get that back. I would love to see Katarata force Jadari to release more nations as well. All right. And look at that. They did. Beautiful. Against Varamhar and Kaleeb. Now, he, oh, that is not what I wanted to see. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we're going to be going to war with Katarata. Pretty much immediately, because I want these provinces right here for my mission tree. And since Prasad no longer has them, I don't have to wait for a truce. But maybe I wait. I think I wait, actually. I wait for another war with Jadari, and then... Off of the back of that war, we'll move into Katarata. I want to make sure that we are taking advantage of our, uh, well, advantages here. And Jadari is going to be weak for a couple of years. They probably have a decent amount of debt. Oh, and they're really good uh, ruler debt. They had a mage ruler. Okay, cool. So we do have a claim on this province until... Where are you? Where are you? Uh, 1558. That's right, we'll be able to get another claim. We can finally take Advertech 9, and we're no longer paying for unbalanced <laughs> uh, research, which is very nice when it comes to paying off corruption. Now we are going to take quantity ideas. We have enough quality from our mission tree and from our uh, national ideas here with the extra morale. We will take the first in quality ideas, which does unlock the Rayueli Freebooters. So. Rayuel is located in a central position of the Eastern Divot Hall Sea, a perfect position to control the trade routes as well as plunder them. Our galleys have patrolled and pillaged these routes since the days of Jahair, when he was rumored to have directly supported the efforts of the Rayueli Navy, then more disorganized rabble rather than an actual fleet, in raiding the Bahari Divot Hall, which were at the time dominated mostly by Abdul Tungur. This unofficial agreement eventually led to the Rayueli Navy providing a majority of the blockade during the Copper Enclosure up until the end of the blockade after Jexus' death in 1162. Although our privateering activities have ceased since then, the experience and skill our navies gained amidst the conflict are still with us today, gaining plus 15% galley combat ability. And that is on top of our uh, naval doctrine, which gives us an additional 15%. So we have plus 30% galley combat ability. Well, once we get a real good galley fleet going in this inland sea, no one will be able to touch us. Uh, again, we are going to make sure that we take this tech on time, so I'm not going to drop more mill points. But what I am going to do is continue to drill these troops and move these ones north. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our force limit. We could get up to 62 right now, and we don't even have the land force limit modifier unlocked. We are making 38 ducats a month. We are rolling in money right now. And with that, I think it's time to uh, create maybe a real army stack. I like to go 2010. You can get most supply in most places with that. And you have a decent back line and a decent front line. Uh, let's actually go, yeah, 2010. And then they just kind of run around. That gives you max siege on most forts at this point in the game. Uh, so it lets you go through the teachers quick, you don't take too much attrition, and they can easily combine with other 2010s or even like a 26-3, 26-03, sorry, to be pretty strong. And I just keep the same name. Let's go ahead and build that. It is going to be quite expensive. This will take me over my force limit, really. Well, we're going to do it anyways. Like that, it takes us over by quite a bit, actually. But we will go ahead and... Deal with that when it comes. And then I'll just delete infantry off of here. I, I already paid for it. Varmhar, though, you are guaranteed by Katarata, and they will defend you. So I will declare on them when I'm at war with uh, Katarata. That way I don't have to deal with them. Did unfortunately lose a general. That is very sad. I will put you on there. Continue to drill. Let's bring everybody together. Still making 30, but that's because we haven't uh, Nolix has declared on Jadari. Yeah, Jadari is in a rough spot. Good for us, bad for them. Let's go ahead and develop some provinces. Because our merchants are now above 60, which means we get an additional minus 10% development cost. So here, you're not a state, but I'm going to make you think you're a state. And I'm going to encourage development. 
And with that, we need to get to, I believe it was 12 for Elven Monasteries. Yes. So both of you need to. So let's go Diplo Development to 12 and Diplo Development to 12. We can no longer do that. Eventually, I would like to either stake this or add it to a trade company, but uh, for now, I think we're just going to leave it there. Actually, no, we're not. We are going to absolutely add this to a trade company. Yeah. That will give us uh, two trade companies that we'll need. We can find a third one for the Age of Witch Kings, I believe, is the next one. Yes. That'll give us a, an Age ability for that. And I always want to be min-maxing those Age abilities because they are very, very strong. We can go ahead and take tech. We will not. Let's bring you down south and prepare for war against Jadari. It should be an absolute breeze to take them out. Military reform? Oh, goodness. You shouldn't have. But you, you should have. Yeah, Jadari's not going to stand a chance against us now. Cheaper mill tech as well? Super nice. That means we can definitely afford to take the manpower recovery speed. Now, we do have our 30k up. We are over by... We're paying 10 ducats for being over our force limit here. Uh, and we don't really need to be over it. So we are... Actually, a lot. We're like 15 over. Uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and delete them. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. It hurts. Mm, I think we'll keep it for now. We'll just keep it for now. We're making plenty of money. Uh, and we'll just uh, consolidate troops down as this war goes on. We will end the episode right before that war. Going to war with Chidari and Brisson and taking a whole bunch of this land, or at least a lot up here, and feeding it to Saryan. It is going to be a reconquest war. Let me connect their land up, see what I can do. I would really like for Ornia to be done as well. Unfortunately, our, diplo our diplomatic reputation is just not very high. Uh, where are we? We're in the right spot. Yeah, it's only one because of our advisor. So if we could find some kind of event or something that would allow us to go ahead and get more, that'd be nice. Alright, so this is going to be our main siege and attack stack. They only have 14,000 troops. They're going to be down here dealing with the gnolls. So we're just going to instantly... Or they're going to be standing right here. <laughs> That's the other option. Uh, so we'll kind of poke out and then we're just going to carpet siege everything down. This really should not be a big deal for us. I am keeping my eye here. I mean, these troops might just be trapped, but the fact they have 16,000 here tells me they're either waiting for uh, Brisson rebels or they want to attack us. Gotta keep an eye out. Alright, and when's that truce up with Jodari? It's in December. We'll go ahead and we'll end the episode when that pops up. No reason to do so too far ahead. 94,000 max manpower. Pretty good for the fact that we have not even started our huge runs of development. Lots of sailors. And our troops, with both of those, has ended. We'll wait for the new year. And with that, I think we are going to call the episode. In the next one, we are going to go ahead and jump into a war with the Jadari, taking lots of land from them. We can tech up. We can take an idea. Beautiful. We can unlock textile manufacturers. All kind of good stuff. But that is going to be in the next episode because that's all the time that I have for today. I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.